Well, good morning. It's Pastor Sandy coming to you with a time of refreshing. Kind of a little rainy, gloomy uh, day out. But I wanted to come and talk to you a little bit today about the gift of peace. You know, maybe you've been watching news, maybe just a little bit too much. You know, uh, if and maybe you've been watching it hoping you're going to hear some good news. But, you know, sometimes we have to be careful because if you watch too much of a thing, especially something that's negative, that's always given a bad report, you know, then you're going to begin to carry that. You're going to begin to carry the care. And then what's going to happen, because all the reports are bad and negative, then you're going to begin to have fear, and fear will creep in. Remember, what you allow to occupy the space of your mind and in your heart, see, that's what's going to take over. See, if you're constantly hearing negative thoughts, if you're constantly hearing things about, you know, bad news and fear, then that's what you're going to begin to feel and have in your life. So be careful. Don't let that doubt and negativity and fear grip your heart because then you'll not be able to walk in faith. You're going to be agreeing with fear. You know, and it's easy, I'm telling you right now in these times, to get caught up in the troubles of life. And if we're not careful, we're all caught up maybe in all of our troubles and all of our problems. And sometimes it seems like they're coming from the left, they're coming from the right, they're coming from the rear, they're coming from the front. But if you're not careful, you'll begin to just focus on the problems and not the problem solver. You know, listen, we can't always control what happens to us, but we can control how we frame it. Are you framing your life with God's words? and God's promises. We've got to frame our life with the promises of God because that's what brings hope. That's what brings peace. That's what brings victory. And another way I can tell you something, how you can get up and out of this, and I'm just sharing things that I have found that when I get caught in this, that when I begin to pray for others, I begin to pray for someone else that I know is going through things. I begin to pray for other people and the needs of them because then what that does, it takes it off of me and now I'm praying for someone else. And now what will happen also is your faith as it rises up and praying and believing for somebody else and things going on in their life, I'm telling you the fear has got to leave, the doubt, the unbelief. All of that care that you've been trying to carry and how you're going to fix it goes away. And God says, thank you. Now I can come in and now I can begin to move in your life. You know, let's look at whatever you're going through right now. Whatever seems so impossible with God. That I mean, with, with, with you, it's not impossible with God. Let's look at those mountains. Let's look at the trouble and begin to say, oh, there's another opportunity for God to show up and show out on my behalf. What looked like it was impossible, God will turn it around for my good. I'm telling you, let's take those impossible things and let God show up on our behalf. You know that perfect peace is a tremendous gift. It's a special gift from God. Only God can give peace. No man can give it. No pill can give it. No person, no relationship, only a relationship with Jesus Christ and trusting in Him can give us that true peace. You know, even when everything around us seems upside down, messed up, turned up, uh, all wrong, nothing seems maybe right, maybe you just seem, like I said, you're just facing one thing right after another, trust God because God will show up and give you that perfect peace, you know. Right when you don't know how, just say, God, I'm going to begin to praise you. I'm going to begin to trust you. And I'm going to begin to see peace show up in my life. Begin to do your part, though. See, we have a part to play. And what's that part? Trusting God. Keeping our minds set on Him. Keeping our minds set on His promises. Say what God says, not what you see, 
not what you feel, not keep reminding him of what you're going through. Begin to praise him. Go to the word and begin to declare the promises of God over your life, over your situation. Yes and amen. That everything that God has for you. Remember that where you are is not your final destination. God has greater for you. God has more for you. Don't get stuck of thinking, oh my goodness, this is so horrible. No, because this is not where we're staying. This is not the end for you. God has destiny for you. God has better. God has greater. So don't get stuck where you are. Just keep saying, Lord, I know that tomorrow will be better. And the next day will even be better because God has greater things for you. Don't let your thoughts get you stuck on where you are. Remember, keep your eyes fixed on him. Because if you keep your eyes fixed on the problem, that's where you'll stay. Keep your eyes fixed on him and you'll move forward. What are you giving your attention to? That's what will consume you. That's what will take priority. Wherever you keep your focus on, that's how you're going to move. When your mind is fixed on him, that's when you'll experience the peace. That's when you'll become grounded and you won't be tossed to and fro with the waves of fear and doubt. You'll begin to walk in peace. I'm telling you, now is the time. Let's begin to enjoy God. Enjoy his promises. Remember that where you are is not where you're staying. You know, the biggest spike usually comes right before the greatest victory. You know, the gift of peace is a very special gift. You know, I'd like to read you a scripture in Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Where's your mind fixed? Keep it fixed on him so that you can receive the peace. You know, his peace passes all understanding. Begin to praise him today because as you begin to praise him and thank him for where you're going, you'll see the glory and the peace of God come down and begin to rule and reign in your life. You know, God is bigger than anything you're going through right now. Let's begin to declare peace in our life. You know, there's so many people out there right now, they need some peace. Let's be the one to go carry the peace to them. Get off of us, begin to pray for others, and as we do, you'll begin to experience the peace of God like never before. Well, I'd like to pray for you today. Maybe you're really going through some very difficult times, and I don't take that lightly. I've gone through stuff, going through stuff, and we'll continue to go through some things until Jesus comes. But God is greater than anything you're going through. Any loss, any hurt, any brokenness, any defeat right now, God is your answer. I thank you right now, Father. I pray for everyone right now under the sound of my voice. Maybe they're going through a loss of a loved one, a family a member, a friend. Maybe, God, right now they're just struggling with sickness in their body. Maybe they're struggling with loneliness. I speak peace over them right now, that the peace of God will rule and reign over your life. I thank you for wholeness and health from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. I thank you, God, that where we are is not where we're staying, that the greatest days that you have for them are ahead. That, God, we're going to begin to focus on you and not on the problem no more. That, God, we're walking out of fear and into faith. We're walking out of doubt into your promises. That's where we're going to keep our eyes fixed, on you and on your word. We're going to begin to frame our world with your words. Your words of hope and peace and joy and victory in the precious name of Jesus. And we thank you for it, Father. No, today that you're not alone, that God loves you, we love you, and that there are people praying for you. You begin to pray for those around you and watch God show up and show out on your behalf. And until next time, keep it simple, my sisters, and I bless my brothers.